Ngayong taon, ipagdiriwang ng probinsya ng Ilocos Norte ang 205th founding anniversary nito. Isa sa inaabangan sa pagdiriwang na ito ay ang tanok ni Ilocano. Para sa detalye ng selebrasyon na ito, kasama natin ang head ng Provincial Tourism Office ng Ilocos Norte, Ian Ree Raquel. Alright, na yung bigat Ayan, and welcome to Mornings with GMA Regional TV. Good morning, Harold, and to the rest of our GMA team in the Gupan. Uh, oh it's a pleasure God. to be here this morning. Amazing. Thank you so much, Ayan, for joining us this morning. Kumusta kayo dyan? Sa Ilocos Norte, grabe nakakamiss dyan. We're, we're okay. Nasaya at uh, napitinta si Panawen. We uh, were experiencing uh, the cool breeze of the Amihan season. Ay, nako. Sige, kailangan makalibot dyan habang uh, ongoing si Amihan para ramdam na ramdam ang lamig dyan sa Ilocos Norte. Well, Ayan, everyone is anticipating and are excited for the 205th founding anniversary of Ilocos Norte. How do you feel that after the restrictions brought about by the pandemic, the celebrations are back for this occasion? Yes, we've been certainly looking forward to this uh, new normal. <laughs> Even during the pandemic, we've uh, really worked hard to reopen early. We were the first uh, in the region, in the whole of Luzon, to open for tourism. Um, and uh, we take this uh, matter of... Uh, promoting our culture and our creative sector seriously because uh, a lot of Ilocanos uh, are involved in the creatives. Yes. Uh, we are a very creative province and we have a lot of uh, livelihood uh, that are anchored on uh, heritage, uh, crafts mm -hmm. like Inabel, uh, our food, uh, and many others, many things that are generally categorized as cultural heritage, but for us, uh, it's a matter of uh, livelihood. So we are very, very excited to bring tourism back. Well, for the 205th year celebration, ano po yung mga dapat abangan ng mga kapuso natin dyan sa Ilocos Norte at yung nagnanais bumisita? Yes, um, we have celebrations throughout Febru February. Uh, number one, on February 2nd, which is our... Uh, founding anniversary as a province, the same with Ilocos Sur, no? Pwedeng pumunta sa Capitol, we call the annual event Open Capitol. Basically, mm -hmm. we open our offices, kati, pati vault ng aming treasury, pinapakita sa mga estudyante, wow. pwedeng pumunta sa Capitol Open House. Tapos, yan, tanok ni Ilocano month ito, so everything about Ilocano greatness, Ilocano pride, everything good about Ilocos. We're doing uh, the main festival, which is a dance uh, festival, uh, on the last weekend of February. Uh, and uh, we also have a film festival uh, we're doing at uh, uh, the cinema uh, in, uh, in uh, Ilocos. Well, nabanggit nyo nga po, di ba, isa po sa mga pinakaabangan ay ang uh, tanok ni Ilocano or greatness of the Ilocano. I understand that this is a dance showdown. Please tell us more about this, Ayan. Yes, uh, so it, it's our 10th year. So we've been doing this for 10 years. For, it's a very young festival, but it's very unique uh, mm -hmm. because uh, the focus is on storytelling. So uh, our presentation is coming from all the 23 competing local government units. That's 21 towns and two cities. Uh, we'll create uh, presentations uh, involving so many elements. Uh, the dance, there's drama, uh, there's video also incorporated into one presentation. That's story-driven. So our focus is really in retelling Ilocano stories, uh, basically, uh, from uh, products to historical events, I know somehow meron na mga nakikita mga nagre-rehearse dyan, di ba? Mga nagpaparamdam. Well, for this year's Tanok ni Ilocano, uh, meron ba mga konting teaser ng detalye, mga bagong gimmicks natin or details na lalo magpapa-excite sa mga kababayan natin? Ang pinaka-exciting sa tingin ko, Harold, maliban sa mga uh, pasabog ng ating mga uh, munisipyo, ay ang ating bagong venue. Yun. which is the new Marcos Stadium. Uh, it's a big uh, stadium uh, that uh, we are re we are opening 
uh, in Lawag. Siyempre, ito yung dating uh, Marcos Stadium na napakatagal na ng mm-hmm. venue uh, ng ating uh, mga sporting and cultural events in right. the province and even in the region. So ito napakaganda, isa siyang stadium park. Ibig sabihin, parang naka-incorporate siya sa mga parke at mga school campus around the area. Well, as we express excitement for these festivities, Ayan, go ahead, please do invite our viewers to visit Ilocos Norte and, of course, the entire north region of the Philippines and be there in the festivities. When and where are these happening, Ayan? Yes, uh, certainly we are ready for... Uh, everyone to come to Ilocos Norte. We are a very safe province. We're the only province with a safety stamp from the World Tourism Council uh, in the country. The entire province is certified, of course, with the efforts of our leaders. We invite all of you to our Tanok month of February, especially the Tanok Ilocano Festival of Festivals happening on the last weekend of February. We invite you all to follow us on Facebook, Ilocos Norte Tourism, and follow our hashtag, Ilocos Norte, I'm in, and see you in Ilocos Norte. Well, we will certainly see you, and I tell you, Ayan, we are in. Thank you so much. In na in. <laughs> Diyan lang po kayo mga kapusong, babalik ang mornings with GMA Regional TV. Ito ang Mornings with GMA Regional TV.